ऑल राइट ऑल राइट ऑल राइट सो गुड हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम 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 टू वन मोर सेशन ऑफ योर डब्ल्यू सी दिस इज योर वाणी मैम ऑल राइट सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टेक अप द नेक्स्ट चैप्टर विद अस कोऑर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड्स सो टिल नाउ आई हैव सेंट यू एलिहाइट्स चैप्टर एंड इट नोज अमीन्स आई हैव सेंट यू हेलो एल्किन्स हेलो अरीन्स एवरीथिंग इज केप्ट द प्लेनेस्ट सो लेट अस डू कोऑर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड्स ग्रेजुअली आई विल बी सेंडिंग द रिमेनिंग चैप्टर्स आल्सो for your board examination so hi hello namaskaram vanakkam shastriya kal aadha barse this is you vani ma'am helping you a helping hand for all the students who are watching me for the first time all right so let us go to the hand it notes these are my notes students where i have picked up from line by line ncrt let's start so this is a coordination compounds so definition of addition compounds and classification so learn it directly like this you can write the same in the exam also from there gradually the difference between the double salt and your little i'll zoom in so that it's easy okay the difference between double salts and coordination compounds the way i have written the definition examples everything you can learn like this and write in the exam from there after the differences between double salt and i request you to watch the one shot videos i have explained every line of ncrt so please go through it then i have started explaining the different terminology which is there in the coordination compounds so the definitions and everything all right then i have taken the examples i have explained what is central metal ion ligand then from there we have gone to the types of ligands so molybdenate bidentate from there ligands gradually we are going and just looking into the charges present on these ligands so mono bi poly all the examples i have given students from there i'm going into further bridging ligands also in this page then going to the polydentate ligand i have shown you what are the donor atoms why it is called hexadentate everything and these arrows indicate the donor sites from which it is attached to the metal so this is your ligand attaching to the metal from there i have given you what is the difference between ambidentate ligand and flexidentate ligands chelating ligands also i have given here examples are also given here so then i have given what is the difference between ionization resistance sphere and coordination sphere gradually i have taken to werner's theory what are the uh, what actually are the postulates of werner's theory from there i have gone further into werner's theory then i have taken the examples for werner's theory <coughs> sorry so based on this example what he has isolated we have given uh, the particular werner's theory how the information what is the werner's structure what is primary valency what is secondary valency from there i have gone to the rules for naming uh, coordination compounds very important we'll be getting one question from this then ligands what are the different types of ligands what are the rules for writing the complexes and different examples which they give you in the board exam cationic complexes anionic complexes then i have gone to vbt valence bond theory postulates in this inner orbital complexes outer orbital complexes with examples then uh, hybridization the sp sp2 sp3 with examples dsp2 sp3 everything all the examples i have covered with uh, the name of the complex and the examples below again i request you to watch the one shot videos for detailed explanation then explain about spectrochemical series here then i have taken certain examples which are very important in terms of board so how they are asked if they ask you how do you write the configuration what is the geometry number of unpaired electrons what is the character by paramagnetic or diamagnetic magnetic moment from there gradually you take into this i've taken different examples so that all the examples are covered then from there after taking so many examples i have taken into 
imitations of VBT. After VBT, I have taken into crystal field splitting, who has developed what is what are the different postulates. After this, I have shown you how is the splitting which happens in octahedral as well as your tetrahedral complexes also. From there, I went into a concept called color property. That color property, what actually is a <coughs> crystal field stabilization energy for each complex, why it is, what is the difference and everything. So what are the different colors absorbed by these complexes? Yes, so this is the complete notes of your coordination compounds. And remember students, I'll be uploading all the 10 chapters. So stay connected. Inform your friends to join the channel. It's a free education channel students. Okay. All right. So thank you for watching. I'll be doing a new series. Very important series after all the notes. Wait for me. Uh, we will get wonderful results in your boards. Thank you so much students. Take care. Please share the video. <clears throat> I request you to join in this mission of free education. Thank you and quality education.